Good afternoon, everybody, and I hope you're having a good Sunday. So, uh, today we are going to, number one, finish the salt and pepper shaker that we did last Sunday. As you can see, I did not uh, sand it or buff it at all. And that is because I do want this frosted look. The idea is that it's supposed to look like it's all iced over. Um, if you remember, we used the uh, snowflake cane and that we put on the translucent clay that uh, the shaker was wrapped in. And uh, if you don't mind giving me just a minute so I can um post this on facebook as well that it started and just takes one minute so people know because it doesn't always work the the thing and i will have to to make soon a a video about this uh, the whole algorithm of um, YouTube has changed and there are a lot of other things uh, that count now but no even if you have the um, bell a little bell clicked it will still not always announce you hi Deborah hi Cherry bonsoir Dominique bonsoir Marijuana oh happy birthday Dominique Hi, Chris. Goodness, we have a full day today. Um, now, before uh, getting on this, because I'm going to have to bring some other stuff in here, uh, let's first do something else. Number one, I said that we are going to do some uh, silverware handles, and these I got at... Um, Goodwill. The idea is that these you can get at Goodwill for like 25 cents or 50 cents, depending on your Goodwill or local thrift store. Um, the thing is that even if they don't look exactly the same, if you kind of look to, to get them the size uh, the same, uh, you can make them all look matched. And I'll show you first, uh, the, the whole idea is that you have to make sure that this area is thinner than this area, which happened in most of the silverware. And that is because you don't want it to start sliding off. And that's half a century, Dominique. C'est un demi-siècle, c'est une très importante anniversaire bon anniversaire um so let's first uh, do some uh, one of the silverware with the snowflake cane and then what i did here i got the canes from the forsythia and we are going to do one with the forsythia but uh, first of all, I'm going to need some really itty bitty slices. Now, this one is way too wide. And I know that I did uh, um, reduce some last time, but I cannot find it. So as it stayed for a while there. The thing is that, see, here it was beautiful. Um, to put it on glass, but on the silverware, you don't want to use translucent first, because if you use translucent, you're going to see the metal handle. Bonsoir, Anxenamun. So, quelle révolution? C 
sais pas de quelle révolution tu parles. Uh, everybody hears me okay? Non, maintenant, quelle ré révolution il y a maintenant? Je ne sais pas. Aucune révolution. Ok, so this should be small enough, maybe. Let me grab a little bit and reduce it even more. I am good, Ansenamon. That's good. Okay, so we have one that would be about the size of this. And first, I'm going to get some uh, white, but let me get some of the crappy white. Because it's pretty much the only thing it can be used for. For Hi, Robin. Hi, Miss Purple Top. So uh, you don't really need to use any kind of um, bacon uh, bond really because it's going to sit here by itself. So I don't know much about what's going on in the world. Honestly, lately I kind of stopped watching too much the news because it's just horrible everywhere. So your first thing is make sure do not uh, trap any air. And then we can get this. Bonsoir, Cecile. Then we can get this uh, cut nicely. It is actually quite easy to do. <clears throat> to do this. Yeah, it's absolutely horrible. It's only, you know, it's like everything is going nuts in the world. It's absolutely horrible. Hi, Catherine. As good as possible. I've been waiting for the snow, but apparently it's not in this area, at least not yet. But I made my speed pea soup for the snow. <laughs> we are supposed to have some really nasty winter storm next weekend, so be prepared the fact that I might not uh, it all depends on power because if we lose power I might not be able to to do a live but uh, so if you don't see a live that means that I don't have power and obviously if I don't have power there's no way to announce it because I don't have data on my cell phone my cell phone is strictly to call I use the tablet, I use the 
computer, but I don't use the cell phone for internet access. Honestly, I cannot afford that. And I don't see the reason why. So all you want to do is to make it nice and even. Yeah, it's hi Joe. Yeah, I guess it's all over the the world. The winter is hitting hard. Winter is here. It's not anymore. Winter is coming. Winter is already here. And with your fingers, you can actually do a very nice job smoothing it out and it will look very much like porcelain and just keep cutting the extra This is the hardest part, the smoothing out, frankly. I done. Okay, so this should be Good, and if you do this, you'll see that there's barely any need for sanding when you're done. But doing these first, it will help. Uh, hopefully, we'll see them baked already by the end of the live. Oh, that's nice. We had a pretty decent week, except for the day before yesterday in the evening, when we had some tornadic storms. Okay, now let's go ahead and do some applications. And try to get them as tiny as possible, as thin as possible. Remember that they do have a uh, glitter. Ideally, you let the cane rest a little bit. What is that? Passage à vide. Passage de quoi? Then very, very gently burnish them in. As once they get baked, you'll be able to see only the bluish highlights on the snowflake. This 
Hi, Stephanie. I'll see how it the can kind of flattens out a little bit because it's all soft from reducing. And then I'll show you another thing that we are going to add to this. And you can add only that, and especially for uh, kids. It's real pretty. Let's get a few on the back as well. Oh, thank you, Stephanie. going to ask exactly that. Another background you can do this is black. And the snowflakes look pretty on black as well. Okay, now we can go ahead and and burnish them nicely inside. Good afternoon, Dawn. Hi, JC. That's not good, Anxana. Sounds really, really painful. And it's just getting worse and worse all the time. I swear, if it wasn't for the health, it would be fun to get old. <laughs> because you don't have to worry about all kinds of things anymore. Okay, now, let's do a fun thing. And I'll show you something that I don't know if you were aware of or not. Um, and yes, I did add them in the Amazon Influencer Store. I don't know if you were aware of the fact that um, gold leaf, you can find it in all kinds of colors. You don't have to color it with, necessarily color it with uh, alcohol ink. You can actually find it in all kinds of colors. And one of my uh, sponsors, Judy, got this for me. Thank you so much, Judy. I mean, look, red and fuchsia. Let's look. This is up 
purple, lavender. But I am looking for the blue. And I have two kinds added up, the ones that are separate like this, and then there are some that come in uh, little pouches. In green. And they are colored on both sides, not just on one side. And uh, they really work. Uh, I'll do later something with green and red. Uh, for the tree. This is another purple, a darker violet. But I'm looking for the blue. And there we go. I don't think I have a lighter blue. Let me check if I have a lighter blue. Purple fuchsia. And you can do all kinds of things with them. And I think that these ones have a, one that's a little bit burnished. See, that's purple, purple. Right, right. There was one that was a little burnished. I forgot which of them. But yeah, in these ones, you don't really have uh, silver and gold. It's a little bit, um, this is fuchsia, and it's a little bit uh, textured. But as I said, it's on both sides, not just on one. So that's really awesome. Uh, if you look, let me, let me get you the link directly. Give me just a second and I'll give you the link directly. As it's in the metal foils and leaf. Remember that I did uh, organize my Amazon influencer store very clearly. Okay, so I'm gonna put just the the link to that section because the one to the product it's huge. It's a huge link. There you go. Yes, they are. If you go on that, then you'll see the whole uh, metal foil and leaf, and you'll find these. And it's a whole bunch of them that you get for that uh, let's see, we get 300 sheets, six colors. So it's really a very, very good deal. And the way that they are presented is uh, really convenient. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is grab a piece of translucent. And we are going to do the same thing on the salt and pepper shaker. So this is some translucent and I'm going to get it on a very, very thin OK, 
Okay, so I went on a seven, which on my machine is the thinnest manageable. I can go thinner than that using those little sheets. And one of the easiest ways to put this on clay is actually to put the clay on it. If you don't mess up. But uh, this was supposed to go all of it on it, but oh well. Hey. grab a paintbrush to make sure that you got it all over. It's okay here because we are going to roll it so it doesn't really matter much if it's not um, full here. And in order to roll it easier, Just grab the end with your blade and fold. Make sure you don't trap air. Of course, I, with my fingernails, I broke it. I need to trim my fingernails, but it's an affair that takes at least an hour. Do I research share Facebook rewards with you, Alama? Okay, so press it to make sure that you don't have any kind of air bubbles, and then I'm gonna gently roll it. Twist it, not roll it. Twist it first and then roll it. And see how you get a little bit of a banded leafy thing. So I'm going to first put the one on the on the salt and shaker. And here I do want let me grab the new one. I forgot to get a new one. First check. Sometimes they have, yeah, right now they have this thing and it's so hard to take out. Uh, 
I cannot imagine how is one supposed to even do this properly. I'll try and find my needle. Oh, poupée de collection. Uh, I wish I could still sculpt properly. There we go. Yay. My hands are not in the best of shape because I've been doing all kinds of work, housework. And one of the things is really hard on the, on the hands. I have this old style, Rococo style uh, set of couch and love seat. And I know that they are not modern and everything. The thing is that um, the cushion covers are removable. So you can take them off and uh, wash them. So in a house with two cats and a dog, yeah, I'd rather keep these outdated couches than get a a brand new one that doesn't have that. That's nice. Okay, so now let's get the another one and kind of flatten it a little bit. And place it at the end of the handle we did. So this is more for kids like and it will look all um, translucent -y with the snowflakes if you want to make it more elegant and more for grown-ups uh, put it on black with some glitter mixed in some uh, gold glitter mixed in now let's put this aside and get to the one with poinsettias and I'm going to show you a trick here How the heck did I do this? And there we go. As I don't need a lot of it, I'm going to cut just a little piece of this and reduce it. And remember, to reduce, you just push from the ends. really need to look at your canal, your channel. Okay, so I'm going to make this really, really 
tiny. And then I'm going to do the same thing with this, but I'm going to first cut it in two because it's easier to reduce when it's not very long. And But before I start reducing it, I'm going to actually wrap some white around it. <laughs> And you'll see why. Because it's going to be so uh, small and it's hard to define the... And this is going to be a little bit more of a stylized poinsettia. Yeah. What is Lisere? I don't know what that is. Uh, this one is the one that we did the last last Sunday when we it's the snowflake. Only that it's on white and it's tiny. You cannot see it until it gets baked. You cannot see it properly. Okay, hi Anna. I'm glad you made it. Okay, now let's get these a little bit smaller. this long so this is how much I'm going to get these ones of course it helps if you cut with the sharp end and now even smaller with these As I need these to be about, I need four of them on this side, or maybe three. It's a tippity. Uh, normally, you would have to make this bigger, but I don't want to mess up a whole bunch of clay. Oh. There's no reason to, because I'm going to use it only for one teaspoon. So it's useless to get something bigger. Uh, can I do just one thing at a time? Yeah, but then it's going to be very bulk, bulky. And you don't want that on the handle of a silverware. Wait. Hi, Sonia, you made it. Okay, and then this one. Make it smaller. So see what I do? I press on the pointy ones, and then I flatten it, and then I pull on the pointy edges. And again, press. Then flatten a bit and pull on the pointy edges. It's getting very, very soft right now. But it's going to look okay.
Okay, let's grab the Now, the thing that's going to be a little bit off, watch this, CDs. And as I said, normally I would make it much larger. Let me try and get this better. Focused. Okay. So, to reduce it, you push like this from both sides. Let me show you the smaller one. You push like this. There, so you don't see the, the fingernails too much. You push like this and then you flatten a little bit. And then you need to pull out the edges. Okay, now to show you what I'm going to do, I'm going to have to come close. Ah, pussy blue. I thought that you were talking about my fingernails. I'm sorry. Okay, now watch this. I'm going to do one cut like this. Kind of like a little bit lower than the edge. And one cut like this until I can separate it. And you'll see why here in an instant. back here because I cut it a little wrong but that's fine and the same on this one so I'm cutting once like this and once like this and this one I want it a little bit longer because I need two of them Maybe I should get another one. Merci, young cinnamon. So press on the ends, flatten, pull on the pointy edges. Now, I need just one touch of another color. And it would be the best to be yellow, but we can use some gold or whatever other color. Let's use a little bit of copper, whatever's on the table. This is going to be very tiny, okay? Remember, we don't go symmetrical. Oops, hold on. I dropped it. Trying to keep it under. I might have to bring the camera all the way to the tile. My third one. Third one. And then I have one that's got like this, and another one that's cut like this that can go in between two of these.
Of course, you can place more petals if you want to make it larger, but this should be enough. Probably if you reload, it will show the way it's supposed to. And I'm going to wrap it in white. Yeah, not everybody presses the button, don't worry. Sometimes it doesn't register until the live is over. just need to keep doing this. Uh, this is going to be a very, very tiny cane on the silverware. But you need to have everything first wrapped once. And then you can start filling up. And remember, my best thing when, uh, when filling up, I just fill up enough and then I can go ahead and trim the excess. That way you don't have to worry. I remember I did one last year too when I had some leftovers and I wanted to see if I could make a cane out of leftovers and I did. Because I want to make it square, because remember, square is the is the best to reduce. It's much easier to reduce a square cane than a round cane. When you reduce a round, it can twist. So it's not always the most desirable.
Okay, now I'm going to make sure that I don't trap any kind of air in there. And at this point, I can go ahead and remove the excess clay. reducing it. I'm going to reduce it a little until I can uh, use the square pairs. Yeah, I made actually I made the playlist. If you go on the channel, there's a playlist with all the Christmas stuff. Because I did the tree ornament, and yes, we will do tree ornaments too. I need the Wednesday, I'll probably because I need to go to the to Kinko and get uh, some photos um, printed on the laser. I Tina, because it's much easier to do a transfer. And I talked about it yesterday in the live that uh, the idea is to make uh, yearly ornaments. You know the photo transfer and then uh, decorate nicely the ornament and with like a frame and with a ear. So that way you'll have a, and you'll be able to do it every year. And that's nice, especially when you have new uh, members of the family and new pits. want it even smaller than this. Let me grab the next square pairs. As if you don't use the proper size, uh, they kind of get like a trapeze. Parce que je, je donne des petites astuces, je crois. Tu ne dois pas parler de tiramisu. Hmm? Yeah, it is, because it has to fit on this. It's going to be a micro cane. But remember, I'm a specialist in micro caning. Actually, I really need to finish taking photos and uploading products. Okay, and this one is. There we go. It's itty bitty. Yeah. 
We are going to reduce it even more. But yeah, I need to take photos because I have a whole bunch of micro canes that are gorgeous in making tiles with micro caning borders. And there's a trick when making micro canes. You cannot use the regular because as the as they they go smaller and smaller the lines get lost if you don't know how to create not all canes can be micro caned okay now let's get part of it And of course, I cut with the dull part of the blade as usual. And again. They are called square pairs. They are from Tiny Pandora. Let me let me put a link. From Teresa Salgado. Let me put the link. They are invaluable for reducing canes. Give me just a minute to get to them. There you go. And they come in three sizes, and as you go smaller and smaller, you just change the size. And there you go. And uh, why they are so good? Because remember, when you start reducing um, at one point, the center of the cane uh, gets colder than the sides. So it's going to kind of stay behind and the edges come out. But with the square pairs, you press equally on the whole cane. And that's why you get very little clay wastage compared to the regular way of reducing and because I have the square pairs that's why I always prefer to do the squares yes she does I'm going to actually do soon uh, something with resin and with some of the I forgot what I bought and she sent me all the collection of the little glittery stuff when she was doing the um, charms with the liquid clay and you know she's got the molds and everything and she sent me the whole collection she had going with the kit so I have a whole bunch of glittery stuff yeah generally I have very little waste unless the clay is super soft and that's why I was so upset about that uh, Primo White because it was absolutely horrible. This is not that one. I mean, I used a different one to wrap the, um, what you call it, the handle. Okay, and then once you're, you got to the size that you want, make sure that you get it one more time through the square pairs so it would be perfectly even throughout and now we are going to do a super close-up <laughs> yes she does send to france
ETBT. Okay. Actually, give me just a minute. I'll show you something before I start wrapping. And this is what I said, I need to take photos and post them in the store. Okay, now this is a feather cane. Let me get that focus again. This is an owl feather cane. And these are the larger ones from microcanes. This is the large. And this is the microcane. And you can make beautiful, I mean, you can see that the microcane is. four of the large ones. I'm trying not to get it. And that's another large from a micro cane. This is one that I call Japanese bamboo because with the, I have quite a bit of uh, uh, beads out made with micro caning and in sets. So you might want to take a look. Okay, this is still a feather. And remember when I was telling you never uh, always keep your original triangle. See, these are all original triangles of various canes. And this is a tropical motif. This is my in the treasures. That's another original triangle. Oh no, this is from the brocade for the pen. But it's again it's the original triangle. That's the original triangle from the Complex Canes 101 tutorial. And this is the cane that came from the original triangle. Let's see. Uh, these are some micro canes. trying to get it so I can see. This is the pomegranate seeds. It's not like a pomegranate, but just looks almost like pomegranate seeds. You see it? Hold on, let me try and get it even closer so you can see all the details. But And this is the closest I can go. And this is one with the Greek key. And 
this is not the good side. Hold on, let me trim the end on this one. There we go. But you can see how tiny they are. And I have quite a bit of them. And they make, as I said, they make beautiful tiles. But as I said, you need to to know how to make, how to create the original cane because otherwise, as you keep reducing it, the detail starts getting lost. There's some more. I mean, I make beads, so I have all kinds of canes in various stages. And as I said, if you look in the store, you'll find uh, some beads made with them. I think this one I made on a tutorial. That's the pomegranate. That's another. And that's these three are made from the same original triangle. All three of them. So you can see the differences. A wind chime, yeah, but uh, you can only, if you do wind chimes with polymer clay, you need to make sure that you put them in the shade because otherwise it would get uh, baked, overbaked, and it will start becoming crumbly. That's another. This one, when it's put on beads, it makes the beads look like they are made out of glass. And that's another. Uh, the the whole secret is to keep doing them and to keep, um, you know, working on it, and it's going to come up just fine. In time, as you keep working and working and working, this is the Andy and Canes I did for the sponsors. This is a sun wheel, like the prehistoric symbols, Andy and pottery type. And here is a psychedelic colored cane. And this one, I made it on Facebook. I was trying to do the cut gemstone type of cane. It's psychedelic color. And I have like two or three boxes of these. Yeah, they can get damaged really bad when you get uh, that super heat in summer. Now this, this is the thing that I did, if you remember the insert of Mother of Pearl and Onyx. Yeah, let me put this back. And this is a lapis. Yeah, if you look, uh, I'm actually bringing some stacks for for gemstones. There's, I know I put out the crazy lace agate and the blue lace agate and the, uh, no, the two blue lace, the primo and the pardo. Okay, now let's go ahead and start covering this up. Yes, but uh, see, Holly, that's why I always say don't, and I'm not the only one. Uh, whenever you start making the cane, always keep the original triangle. 
because once you start putting it together, that's it. You cannot do anything else. And the other thing is don't uh, store your canes reduced. Mine are reduced because they are with a purpose reduced. So they can be used on uh, tiles and on making beads. But uh, in order to warm up a cane to use it, you need to reduce it a little bit. So if it's already tiny, you cannot really do much anymore in order to warm it up. And canes crack and all that. So it's not a good uh, idea to reduce a cane for storage, you know. Okay. And you don't want it too thick on here. I went on a, like a, a three on the pasta machine. And especially where you're going to put the slices of cane, you don't want it too thick. Just bring it over and smooth it out. Ah, uh, yes, the scrap clay, there's a ton of ways to use it. I use it the most for uh, the one that's mud. For uh, I just mix a little bit of blue. Remember that I showed you the, I mean, the tutorial on how to do the oxidized part of foam metal directly with scrap clay. So you don't have to bother antiquing anymore. And that's pretty much what I do, or the, the base for bangles and cups and stuff. This one is a little bit more difficult than the other one. And it's more. Oh, yeah, and my chair cover, the one with the heat pad and with the, my hands are starting to hurt. Um, and the massage should come tomorrow. But also tomorrow, are, they are supposed to come start working on my roof. Ah, oh, Senna, that's nice. Yeah, that would be good if they could if they could translate as people talk. The girls are talking about uh, clay in general, the the uh, scrap clay. And Ang San uh, won a prize. Uh, now, as a, as a piece of advice uh, for filling stuff that's big, I honestly recommend that you get the Sculpey Ultralight uh, because per volume, it's way cheaper than the regular clay. And also, it doesn't make stuff heavy, you know. So for making big beads like this, I always use the 
sculpt the ultralight. It's the best to use. Okay, I need to remove a little bit of this here. Yes, and you can make really fancy silverware. There's all kinds of stuff that you can make fancy around the house. Remember I showed how to do the cabinet knobs. I actually need to start working on my kitchen on that. Okay, let's get this out of the way and start embellishing it. And I'm going very small. The thing is, whenever, uh, let me give you a piece of advice, whenever you're working with uh, a cane that's got red, never use alcohol to smooth out unless you're ready to do a lot of sanding. Because it's going to smear. See, I'm positioning each slice in a different direction. Let's get the small one. So oh, you need to smooth them out really nice. Uh, the general aspect of something done like this will be of porcelain.
and I'm sorry, I'm going a little bit astray, but as I said, my hands are starting to hurt. I did too much stuff today. And I'm still working on the big sponsor tutorial. That special necklace. Okay. See how my hand went <laughs> boom. It went where it wasn't supposed to. What is a big shot? Oh, okay, I got it. But yeah, you can use the die cuts for clay. I just wish, you know, like it's with the stamps that they think about making them as textures as well, not just as stamps, because that's the main problem. Okay, I'm sorry, I didn't do a great that. A terrific of a job, but you get the idea. Yes, today is one of those days in which I can show you how it's done, but I cannot do it perfectly. And unfortunately, probably the, these days will be more and more often. Because I just got the bad news that... Remember I was telling you that I probably will have to do the surgery to remove the spurs from the thumb, but I was told, I forgot to tell you, I was told by the doctor that they cannot do that on the right hand because of the risk of lymphedema, because I had the lymph nodes removed on the, on the right side where the cancer was. So I'm already taking a risk getting the shots, the steroid shots, because generally speaking, kind of need to avoid doing any kinds of poking, prodding, twisting, grabbing. Okay, so the thing that I'm going to do, but I'm not going to do it now, it has to be baked. Uh, after it gets baked, you need to put a line here, the same, pretty much the same, but this time you can put some um, uh, gold because the gold will look beautiful on this. So I think I'm going to call it done. And these are going in the oven and I'm going to post on Facebook the results once everything is said and done and finished. Okay, I've been up for an hour and a half. So, I'm good. Yeah, gold will look very nice on the... And you can do the same, you can use these, uh, wrap the whole salt and pepper shake in white, and then do, um, whatchamacallit, um, bottom line, with the micro canes and the top line if you want and you can actually do the whole and then you can make one extra a poinsettia in the middle the way that i showed it last year on how to put it on the uh, christmas ornament because you have if you did the the poinsettia brooch you still have these for making i mean and i showed in the poinsettia brooch so you can make a little, if you want to, it, it's going to look like porcelain, pretty much. Selling of what? Usually they go out in the, in the distaches, Tina. 
most of the stuff that I do on tutorials go goes in these stashes, unless it's a really master class thing. Okay, ladies, I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much for being here with me. I really need to go lay down. And my hands are hurting. I need to put my braces on. So, yeah, I know how that is. Thank you so much. Merci beaucoup d'être avec moi sur le live. Madame, vous avez une bonne soirée. Bye, everybody, and happy clean.